Oh, welcome to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Um, I have oil all over my hands because I was trying to set up my phone on this thing so the light isn't blaring, so sorry about the light, but I have no setup outside, and it's freaking freezing inside because AC, and I've just been getting more cold. I don't know if it's because winter's coming up and outside's getting a little bit chillier. Not by much, though. It's still very hot outside, but, um, okay, so... <laughs> I kind of wanted to like get started on this and kind of like explain because I just saw someone who pretended to be my friend. There were so many red flags in our friendship. They have a little schnauzer mutt that was a service dog. Um, I actually noticed a couple of my subscribers go on their page sometimes and they're very rude to my subscribers and stuff and just really snappy and they were really snappy with me. Anyways, the thing is they're washing their dog because their dog's reactive now um, and they would always cancel or bash people with reactive dogs, and now they have a reactive dog themselves, because they're, I hate to say it, but they're a little bit too lazy to keep up on their dog's training, and I've been warning them and warning them, and they refuse to listen, so yeah, um, I didn't comment on their video because I blocked them on YouTube, though their videos are still showing up for me, for my recommended and stuff, I just, I don't support them anymore for the, the things they have said because they have told my subscribers to not support me and apparently I'm a terrible person all because Dixie was human reactive um and then when I got professional help they got offended and they always were offended with Dixie doing work everyone we I used to be in a service hog group um until I left because someone was harassing me and was death threatening me so I left that group but I would post videos of Dixie working and people would be like, wow, Dixie's doing so good. I'm so proud of you guys. And they would just be like, my dog's a little bit better than that, you know? And the funny thing is she's been in training less than your dog. And she would just like say snarky remarks like that just to make me feel bad about me and Dixie's training. And it kind of sucked because I considered her my friend. I edited her dog. I drew her dog. Um... She did not appreciate it. I asked, does anyone want a drawing in this group? And she was like, me, me, I want a drawing. That would be so amazing of you. And when I did it, she was like, oh, thanks. Like, in the way where she's like, oh, I don't really appreciate it because it's not that good. Um, And I was still practicing my drawing. So, of course, I wasn't amazing. But I was still, it was a still very, very accurate and good drawing of her dog. Um, Anyways, what I wanted to bring up in this video, because I feel like a lot of people don't understand, um is I think karma is real. Uh, probably not instant karma, but definitely karma takes time to, like, do its own thing, I guess. Because basically all these people who have left hate comments and rude remarks on Dixie's behavior and how I look or my disability, they have gotten their karma. And I kind of want to bring that up. So I'll be talking about three people today. <laughs> so I actually already talked about one where she had to wash her dog after she was making rude remarks a girl with a schnauzer mutt, um, and she's washing it from service work. The other one was her dog was really aggressive towards other things, and she took her insecurities out on me, so she would say Dixie's aggressive, or Dixie's reactive, or Dixie is human aggressive, yet she, that is what her dog did. Her dog was human aggressive, um, or human reactive, I can't really remember, but she would, like, say things to me that she was thinking about her dog because she was getting insecure that my dog um, was doing a lot better than her dog. And I don't understand why she was so jealous of Dixie because Dixie has been in training longer. And her dog is doing perfectly fine for how long it's been in training. But she doesn't understand that. So, anyways... She got her instant karma because she was being canceled because she was actually on a live video. She would call me abusive and she would say, I'm abusing Dixie and I would hit Dixie and she got caught on live video. She forgot she was on live and she was playing frisbee with her dog and pretend this is a frisbee. She took her frisbee and whacked the dog so hard that the dog freaking whined out in pain and a frisbee dogs have high pay tolerance a dog shouldn't be yelping if you smack him with a frisbee lightly i smack dixie on accident when i'm doing the chuck it i'll hit her in her head accidentally because it'll go like down and stuff because it's a long chuck it thing and she won't whine because it doesn't hurt her as bad but if i was to take 
that with all my force, I would hurt Dixie severely. And that is what this girl had done, is she had took her frisbee and smacked her dog across the head, making it yelp on live. And nobody was screen recording. And of course, she deleted the live video, ended it when she realized she was on live, deleted the live video, and nobody got screen recording. So it freaking sucks. But I had multiple, multiple people telling me that that happened and these people did not know each other so how is it if these people are telling lies they have no relation with each other one of them uh has a yorkie the other one i can't really remember the breed of their dog but a bunch of people were telling me different things and they weren't following each other they weren't friends they didn't know each other in the service dog community they were just saying this because it happened and they used to follow this girl and then the next one is um this girl who has a great Pyrenees mix um she called Dixie aggressive and she made a Facebook hate group telling me that Dixie is aggressive and she posts things she goes on my YouTube and I'm pretty sure she's watching this right now hello if you're watching this um and she screenshots things and screen records things and posts them on this group so for example um one of her followers went on my page they were following me originally when I first started Instagram and they turned on me but they were like screen recording my stuff and screenshotting random things and making me making me out to be the bad guy for things that I was not guilty for. So, for example, you guys know I went in that Chinese restaurant and they denied Dixie access up to the food bar. And um, I posted on my Instagram story, they, the Chinese food bar thing just uh, denied Dixie and it's illegal. And I said, I'm kind of pissed off because I'm in a lot of chronic pain right now. And she, and she said... Um, well, your dog's not allowed in food buffet area lines. It's actually illegal under ADA. And I was like, are you right? Because I was, I just took it as, of course she posts, she posted it in a hate group, but I just took it as, is that, is she, it true? Because if, like, I read ADA multiple, multiple times, so I was like, did I miss something like that? And I actually looked it up and it's not illegal. It's actually illegal to deny a service dog around food service dogs just cannot be around food in like a kitchen when you're cooking food um but they have every right to be in a salad bar line or um a buffet line which Dixie was going up to their food she wouldn't have jumped up on the things the high, things were super high there's no way Dixie could have got hair slobber or dander in their food they just didn't want her up there because they were discri they were discriminating against me because I have a service dog well um Going back to the person that got karma is the one who started that hate page group. She would call Dixie aggressive. She would say I'm stupid and I don't belong in this world. She death threatened me. She said, why don't we just meet up face to face, which is a threat. It's like me saying, hey, why don't we meet up face to face and talk this out in real? Because people say that as a threat, if you know what I'm saying. Like when you tell someone you're going to talk face to face, you're not being like, hi, uh, it's so wonderful to meet you. You're like, hey, you want to fight? And that's what she intended. And now she's lying about it. Like saying, I, well, I never said that even though I have screenshots of her saying that. And it was a really bad threat. And I was just like, dude, I have no time for you. You hate on me, but you literally have an obese pig. And I was telling her, her animals are super unhealthy, which they are. Uh, her pig's belly is dragging to the ground. Its legs are buckling in. It's not a healthy animal. And then she was like, it's not my fault. It's my grandma's pig. That's no excuse. Just because you literally live with your grandma and you still have obese animals. That's not the point. Basically, uh, one of her followers who still is her friend, like still friends. I actually have screenshots of their dog because their so-called service dog is human aggressive um it, their dog had shown many signs of being aggressive yet they have never thought of being like oh okay this is bad maybe i should pull my service dog public access or wash him but she didn't she was like mm, no i'm just gonna let slide even though every single time her dog went on to public even as a puppy her dog would growl at people and she knew this this had been happening for um i want to say six months probably more ever since she started public access which i think was around like four months old and now her dog's like over a year 
but every single time she went on into public, she would just make up excuses like, oh, it's a fear period. He has a fear period. But no, your dog's just poorly bred and it's a genetic mess. And it's not a fear period. It's an actual thing. Your dog is human aggressive genetically. And she didn't take these warnings from other people. She would block anyone who said anything about it. And she would report them and bitch about it and post drama about these people. And now... She washed her dog because guess what it did? While working, while vested, while during a training session, her dog latched out and bit her brother. Her, like, a kid. Like, a tiny kid. Um, not like a tiny tiny, but you know what I'm saying. Like, not a teenager yet. And I have screenshots of that bite. It's a good bite. It's blood dripping down the kid's back. That's a... It was more than one bite. It was, like, multiple likes. Like, this dog had lunged out, grabbed around the kid, ripped around, like, thrashing around on this kid. You can see by the bite wounds. And it's just bullshit that she would call my dog aggressive. And then when I asked, okay, provide the proof. I mean, really, you were so-called my friend, and now you're calling my dog aggressive. I just want the proof, you know? If you're going to be going around making these drastic claims, at least show me the proof. She couldn't. But now I have proof of her dog being aggressive. So I just wanted to make this video because I'm like, people get karma and you just got to wait for it because it took a good couple of months, probably like two months, one month, I don't really know, for this karma to happen to them. And it's kind of amazing because they make false claims and then instantly they get their karma. I was just like, oh, it's probably just coincident with those two people. They were are they already have poorly bred dogs that are genetic mess. Their dog is bound to do that to someone. And their dogs did. And I was like, okay, karma's a bitch. And I just thought, oh, maybe it's a coincidence. I mean, karma isn't real. But then today I saw that one girl who said, don't support her. She's an animal abuser. She hurts her dog that pretended to be my friend. And now she's washing her dog because her dog reacts to real service dogs in public. Um, and she's like, oh, it's such a hard decision to wash my dog. Dude, your dog was like that almost all the time. It had been working. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just, I don't like starting drama in the service dog community. I'm a very neutral person. People say I'm a drama, they call me a drama queen. They're like, you're such a drama queen. Why don't you just let things go? It's not their fault. Why do you have to bring up so much drama? And I'm like, I don't bring up drama. I provide proof after those people purposely start drama with me just to get people to turn on me. I'm like, I didn't do that. I'm a very laid back person. I had no drama. People hate on me. I brush it off. Sometimes I reply to their comment trying to educate and if they don't take the education, I'm like, okay, whatever. You don't want to listen. I'm just going to block you, report you, and delete your comment. And they're like, okay, fine, whatever. And I block them. But these people... <laughs> They push it so far, and actually, I'm not going to say who because I'm not certain on who, but one of the two girls that their dogs have been aggressive, not reactive, they're two aggressive dogs, one of them had sent multiple people um, because I think I accidentally showed my mom's address um, on one of my Instagram, and I think I deleted the video, but they saw my mom's address and sent out different cars to follow me and harass me on my walks and try to harm me. Um, and I'm not talking about, oh, a car followed me two blocks. These cars, I would turn on every block. Like, I would go like this. I would just turn on every single block. And these cars would still be following me. And they weren't going the speed limit. They were trailing behind me super slow. They were, like, going like this. Because I don't walk very fast. So, it was kind of bullshit to me. I was like, dude, how sick do you have to be to send people in my area to harass me? I mean, really. I mean, I know you're jealous of me, and I know you get jealous because my dog's better trained than yours, but to send people out to threaten me and harass me? Are you kidding? The only reason they didn't come at me is because I had Dixie, and these people had told other people, but watch out because her dog's human aggressive. It's going to bite you. Um... So that's probably why the people didn't get out, but they would like trail behind me, windows down, just staring at me. And this was multiple different cars with different license plates, different areas, everything. So it, it got kind of crazy, but I guess that's the thing of being internet famous. You just get crazy stalkers and fan behavior, um, and you just have to deal with it. Um, I was defending myself. I had a stick in my hand, and I was not, I was not going to hesitate to hit someone if they came out of the car. But yeah, anyways...
if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, tell me why, but if you didn't like it, you're probably just one of those people. Anyways, hit the notification bell so you can, like, be reminded when our videos are uploaded. Um, subscribe if you haven't already because 50% of you who watch are not subscribed. And mm, that, I would just love more subscribers. So, yeah, anyways, uh, see you guys later. But I hope this kind of helped people learn that this type of behavior isn't okay. You should not be harassing people. Instant karma does come around. Instant or just karma itself. It just comes around at slower times. But, yeah, I hope this kind of helped people understand what the struggles are of being me because people hate me so much because I'm I'm like I have more fans than them and they get jealous of it so yeah anyway sorry if I'm pacing though I got really anxious during this it's something out of my comfort zone that I don't like talking about I don't like bringing up haters because I always feel like people are going to take their side on it or some crap like that and I always get really anxious so yeah, anyways, um, sorry, this video was a lot longer than I intended. I thought it would be like 10 minutes, but it's 60 minutes, so yeah. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye.